Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, Millennium Dawn, Germany. In the last episode, we had a little war with Belgium. Uh, because they were there and it was going to be easy, so we did it. They are now our puppet. And uh, we annexed Austria. We've basically integrated them. We're working on reducing Switzerland's autonomy, so I don't have, so I can actually go do something else for a little bit. So we're making sure that we are building. In there, let me just go ahead and slide a couple of additional things up here. Um, we designed a new variant of the Leopard, and we need to design actually a couple of ships. So we are going to do that, and I also noticed that some construction is done for our communication satellites. So we're going to go ahead and launch those additional communication satellites, which we can just go ahead and do right now. And we're going to launch the rest of our launch vehicles. We had one launch failure, but that shouldn't be a problem. Yep, there we go. We now have proper coverage. Now we just need to work on a reconnaissance satellite system. But I'm going to hold off on building anything there because I want my civilian factories working on this project first. Um, now... Yeah, put that in the right place. Um, what I want to do is we're about to get this improved helicopter deployment. So I want to wait for that before we design our ships. Because I want to make sure that the helipads that we're going to be putting on them are the best helipads we're going to have available. So we're going to hold off on those. Oh, there is one thing that I do need to do before I forget... And that is, I need to come in here. And that's a destroyer. And we have a Bremen class frigate. That's obsolete. That's not anything we need to do. So we're going to change this. I'm going to stick with the city name class conventions. Call that the Karlsruhe class. Karlsruhe? Something like that. Um, maybe. Famous battles, I guess. For the actual ship names. Doctrines are available. Nuclear dominance. Missile submarines. We don't really have missile subs. Um, No, I don't actually want to do a naval doctrine because I need that navy experience for the ship designs we are about to make. So. Syria has declared war on Iran. Um. Good luck with that. I'm not even sure how that's even going to work. But Iran is a member of the Commonwealth. So that means, Syria, that... Um, 
that's going to be a problem for you, I think. Uh, next helicopter operator, because now you're at war with the Commonwealth. Yeah. All right. Let's design a couple of ships. So we have a new cruiser. These old hulls are obsolete. Let's go ahead. I've already decided what the class is. Um, traditionally, um, German cruisers are named after people, admirals and the like, like um, Admiral Graf Spee, Admiral Hipper, Prinz Eugen, so forth and so on. But I want to go back to old protected cruisers, and we're going to start with the Rune class. It is named after an admiral, oh, a field marshal, a field marshal named Rune. Um... I guess we'll go with Germanic mythology as the ship names, the auto-generated. Oh, there's a lot of slots here for these cruisers. Oh, I don't have any bigger guns. Hmm. Look at that. Um, we're gonna want to make these nuclear cruisers, nuclear-powered cruisers. This. They're kind of like full cruisers almost. Um, let's remove everything here. And then I'll figure out what we want. We're going to be putting the, not the anti, we're going to be putting the light helipads. Uh, we don't have the better helipads. Huh. Interesting. Electronic support measures. ESM. I guess we should probably have some ESM. Sure. Um, we're going to want our vertically launched surface to air missiles and our vertically launched anti ship missiles. We're going to want some vertically launched land attack missiles. We're going to need point defense. Yes. We still have three slots um, anti submarine warfare torpedoes and anti ship torpedoes. Sure. And more guns. Anti ship guided weapons, anti submarine weapons. I was thinking, like, like this distinction, I'm not sure makes sense with modern torpedoes. Since most torpedoes can be used for both roles. Um, if I were going to make a distinction of two different types of torpedoes that you could put on a ship, one would be a deck-launched torpedo and one would be a rocket-launched torpedo. The advantage of a de deck launch torpedo is they're significantly larger and therefore have much bigger warheads. Do a lot more damage. Rocket launch torpedoes will be significantly smaller, do quite a bit less damage. But the advantage is they're on a rocket, so you can fire them at greater range. They get where they need to get faster, and you basically drop them directly on top of whomever needs a torpedo wing. So, um, yeah, that's the distinction I would make. So, but, you know, it is what it is. So, uh, 
Let's get that going. And I also noticed that we have... We need a new Corvette design. Uh, do I want to go with a new Corvette design? No. Because we are about to get a new Corvette hull. Okay, we're going to hold off on a new Corvette design until we get that 2010 hull. Okay. And I'm going to need to use a slot for that. We might use this slot. And like the submarines, we're going to go ahead of time on it. We're going to throw a lot of research resources behind our Navy. All right, CRISPR, let's get Human Genome Project. There we go. Fuel refining. Yeah, let's go get that Corvette hull. Oh, yeah, everybody's setting their nuclear forces on alert because they're at war with Syria. I think that's a little silly, but, you know, whatever they want to do. Uh, let's move... And we are just burning through that stuff that we're manufacturing, that we're building in Switzerland. Um, We obviously cannot build any naval shipyards in Switzerland. And I think I've kind of almost built everything that I can there. Uh, unless... I don't know if upgrading a rail counts. Building a couple of supply hubs counts. Or at least a supply hub will count. Yeah, uh, unless I want to build some forts. Yeah, those count. We're about to be able to annex there. We just need some more political power and we need to get out of bureaucratic drain. Small fish in a big fish pond. 
We are receiving complaints that many large corporations are intentionally buying their smaller competitors only to shut them down and prevent competition. Many are afraid that large corporations are working in unison to achieve a cartel and control the markets. Uh, no. We're to condemn that sort of behavior. We need free competition in the market. Oh yeah, paid off the debt. No more debts. Oh, I don't like this. Um... Let's do a propaganda campaign. Alright, high speed rail is done. Let's get fuel refining moving. Keep working on that. Pro-Western Coalition Partners. Alright, we can reduce Belgium's autonomy. Yeah, drop them to a puppet. An election campaign. All oh, right, because we still have elections. Uh, I guess we could attack the non aligned. I would prefer to ta attack the pro westerns. We have a merging outlook appearing. Yeah, that's costing me a lot of money to run the propaganda campaign and the propaganda campaign. All these propaganda campaigns, but it's all right. Uh, Ronald Shields Coalition reelected. Yep. So no changes. The problem is... The route that I'm thinking we're going to go down... Let's see. See, Western Outlook supporters start a civil war if we go down this route. Popularity of nationalists. And this basically just gets rid of the... The elections. Oh, someone was saying that there was a decision...
Dismantle the final settlement treaty. Is that what it is? World tension is increased by 20. Removes German legacy. That's what it is. And then once we do that, then we can do all of this stuff. All right. But right now our political power is going to be needed with, to deal with our puppets. Go ahead and speed things back up. Alright, we're no longer under the effect of bureaucratic drain. We can drop Switzerland's autonomy. Yeah, those propaganda campaigns reducing our, our political power gain by 50%. Auto influencer daily cost. Um, we don't really need that. Any more? Okay, that should have turned off the auto-influence. Okay. There we are. Keep working on the economic intelligence. Air doctrines are available. Air superiority, air support, mission efficiency, naval mission efficiency, joint air operations. Air support, mission efficiency. Why would you ever take this one? Because this gives the same thing plus the other stuff. Drop them. Uh, Syria was puppeted three times, apparently. This is Syria, that's Syria, 
And that is Syria. That's not confusing. This is a puppet of the United States. That is a puppet of Iran. And this is a puppet of the UK. Now, that's one of the changes I think that they made is that now multiple nations can create puppets out of the same nation. So you can't block someone from creating a puppet by making them a puppet first. Army Doctrine. Syria took one state. Kurdistan was annexed. Iraq was liberated. Okay. That's... Apparently there's an Iraqi civil war. All right. Hmm. I could... If we were to send an intervention force... We could send three divisions. Send you. See, now we're starting to get into a realm where we have enough world tension that people might start guaranteeing others. Alright, my three divisions have arrived. Let's send them to the front. We're supposed to be... Th oh, yeah, there they are. Alright. Begin assisting operations. get you some more experience. Kuwait has declared war on the Islamic Republic of Bahrain. Really? Ari War and Omani. Okay then. All right, 
human genome project. Grab Cas9 gene editing. Improve synthetic oil refining. All right. Industrial biofuel processing. Oh, we are just tearing through that construction. All right. Uh, is there more stuff that we can build? The only thing we can really build that I can see are like ports. Keep them going. some new stuff. All right, we can annex there. Do it. Um, keep that nationalist propaganda campaign going. All right. The Iraqi Civil War is over. We have three military factories. We have a couple of them. Uh, let's see. Upgrades, upgrades. We need... Transport helicopters. Alright. Intervention forces return. Let's reintegrate them back, them back into the, to the army that they were part of. I did notice that there was something goofy going on here. We have an expeditionary force. From a country that doesn't exist anymore. I can disband it. Alright, well, then I don't have to worry about it anymore. Alright, so this army... Let's put you in charge. And I would love to make these Marines. Large company bankrupt. One of the larger companies within our nation has declared bankruptcy today. It's truly a sad day. Um, we can subsidize the business. I would rather not. So we'll just say, too bad. So sad. Um, I've been waiting to have this guy on the air cavalry.
Flying speed, movement, attack, and mountains. We're just going to have to promote a guy. Reckless. Additional planning speed. Chance to get wounded in combat plus 50%. We're still short transport helicopters. What are we short here? Transport helicopters. Yeah, that's where we are at here. 638 days. Major financial institution fails. Oh, We can throw some money at it. And we kind of have to. I have enough money to switch back to economic boom, but we don't have enough political power to do that. I need to save my political power for the eventual annexation of Switzerland. Oh, we have a new operative that we can recruit. Escape artist and insurgent. Let's grab you then. I'm actually going to hold on to my political power. The naval doctrine. Let's grab this one. All right, there's a new helicopter operator hull. Redesigned helicopter storage. And I just spent all of my Navy experience. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. And we'll see about getting that helicopter operator designed. We might have to send the fleets out on exercises, but that's okay. Um, and maybe we'll get to the point where we can annex Switzerland. All right. But for now, we'll stop here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.